Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. So it's been quite a long time since my last video. I think it's been about six months. Um, it's been a bit of a strange six months for me, to be honest. Just been lacking a bit of motivation with my photography uh, and a combination of my equipment, issues with my equipment, uh, my digital camera completely packed up. And even my film cameras I've been having problems with. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been a bit, of a bit of a strange one, but I've managed to get some equipment together now. Uh, so I'm gonna start making some videos again, which would be a really nice thing to be doing. I'm currently at Land's End, or just, just close to Land's End, and you can see long ships there in the distance. I'm on my electric bike today, and I thought I'd have a bit of a ride up the coast towards St. Ives, uh, just stop at a few locations along the way, and um, just get some images. I've actually got a, a camera with me today. I, haven't, well, I have used it once, just tried it out in my garden. But um, yes, yeah, so it's a Yashica Mat a TLR camera. And yeah, I'm gonna put a couple of rolls of film through that. I'm gonna be shooting Ilford Delta 100. And yeah, hopefully we'll get some nice images with it. I'll get it out in a minute, we can have a quick look at it, and then I'll probably get one image here, down there towards Longship's Lighthouse, and then we'll have a ride up and see if we can find some interesting subjects along the way. So we'll get that camera out a second. So I'm going to get my first image here of Longship's Lighthouse. Just a lovely scene. I've photographed it a few times before. I just really enjoy it. It's a spot I come to regularly. It's only about a 10 minute ride from where I live and it's just a great place to come just to clear your head, you know. Sometimes just sit here in the evenings and just watch the sunset. There's never anyone on this path. It's always people on the coast path down there. So you always have it to yourself. It's lovely. It's a, like I said, lovely place just to come and relax. So I'm just going to come, sorry, I'm just going to shoot one image here. Uh, it is square format, the camera. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, which I do really struggle with square format. I don't know why, I've always found it really difficult. But yeah, so I'll grab this one. Uh, settings wise, no light meter in the camera. So I'm just gonna use a uh, light meter on my phone and it's telling me uh, one five hundredth of a second F11. So I'm gonna shoot this one and then we're gonna head up towards Senna and see what we can find out that way. So I'm going to grab an image here. It's a scene I've photographed a few times before. I just really like the uh, wheat here in the, in the foreground uh, and the white building. And it works particularly well with a dramatic sky. The sky's not too bad at the moment. But when you get like, a really dark sky, it can make quite a strong image. So I'm going to shoot it with this sort of fence post in the foreground and in the wheat and in the building. I haven't actually got any filters for this camera, which is a bit of a shame really. Uh, it'd benefit for some sort of filter on this scene, I think. But I have got Ilford Delta 100 in there and hopefully that'll add a bit of contrast. So I'm gonna grab this one, and then we'll carry on on our way on the bike. So I'm just gonna get a couple of images here. I really like this composition. I like the way the sun's coming through the metal frame here onto the wall and it's causing lots of shadows gridlocked across the, the wall there. Uh, and also the, the lots of triangles within the frame. So I think it makes quite a nice composition. I'm gonna get one slightly wider with a bit more of the frame in and the chimney stack off to the left. And then I'm gonna get a close up image based around the frame, the bottom of the frame there with the door and the wall. And it's really just sort of playing on the shadows. Hopefully it'll pick it out with a nice contrasty film. So I'll grab two images here.
So I've just stopped at Pendine Lighthouse, just going to get a couple of images here. Uh, the first one I'm going to get, I'm just going to use this wall here leading you down. Uh, just have the top of the lighthouse just pointing over the top of the wall. Uh, settings wise, I'm at 1 250th of a second at f11. So I'll grab this one and I'll probably just try and find one more image. The light's not very good at the moment, it's, it's gone very hazy, so the sky is not much interest in the sky at all, so it might just be completely white. But um, I'm out now anyway, so I'm going to finish up my rolls of film. Uh, keep heading up, you never know, it might clear up a bit later. So I'll grab this one a sec. So I'm going to get a second image here. I've come a bit further back from the wall. There's also an uh, electricity wire that runs down. I like the way it runs parallel to the wall. I've got a post sticking up, which I tried to place between the lighthouse there and the horns at the end. I think the composition works okay. So I'm going to grab another image. Uh, settings wise are exactly the same. One 250th of a second, and that's at f11. Yeah, so I'll grab this one. So I've just stopped in Zena. Lovely scene here with the old telephone box and the building at the end. Tiny building with the nice pyramid roof there. I actually got a couple of shots here, uh, I think about two weeks ago with my phone. And it works really well. It's actually colour photo. Um, it does work really well in colour. So I'm going to try it in black and white anyway. And hopefully, um, hopefully it'll still come out okay. Should be some nice contrast there, like in the window and on the telephone box. So I'm going to shoot one from here and I'll probably just get close up on the telephone box as well. So just a couple of images. Settings wise, I'll drop down to f8 and that's 1 250th of a second. So I'll grab this one first. So I've shot all my rolls of film now. It's been a really lovely day. I've had a great time, especially on the bike rather than the car. You know, it's so much more relaxing. And the, the uh, Yashica mat seems like a lovely camera. I've had a real nice time using it. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite hard to focus, I found at times. It's quite, quite dark through the viewfinder. So perhaps I could clean it or do something. Yeah, it's been really good fun. Um, yeah, quite, quite challenging with the six by six format. Uh, I don't think the image is gonna be anything particularly special, but it wasn't about that today. For me personally, it was just about getting back out of the camera, um, getting back into that headspace where I want to get back out and make some more videos. So yeah, it's been a good day. Well, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.